We welcome you back to Dyersville, Iowa. And we'll be at Field of Dreams, IT on location. There's the Cincinnati Reds just off the bus. No time to stretch right to the team photo or in the case of Hunter Green and Tyler Stevenson, right to the this set with a pair of TV clowns. Hi. But, but to make up for that, we gave them some delicious Dairy Queen and the summer blizzard treat menu. So... Boys yeah, dig it well. Caramel fudge. I, yeah, Tyler, I'm sorry. Do you need Kevin, Uncle Kevin, to yeah, feed you? Oh, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uncle Kevin, will do whatever you need to do. He's here for you. Uh, okay, guys. First of all, Kevin, grade one to ten, unis. Well, now you see the person. The, 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 it's the size of these men. Like you know, what I'm saying, like I got my readers up here. I'm all old, and then like you look at just like stars, man. That I'm in. I don't like ob- the unis. Yeah. Don't objectify them, Kevin. What does that mean? Time out. It's a big word. <laughs> objectify? Looking, yeah, we'll just we'll skip the vocabulary lesson for now and just talk baseball. Yeah, you guys them. look amazing. I'm yeah. gonna be honest with you. Yeah. How do you me, feel? It's pretty cool for me. I, I never wore pinstripes all throughout uh, playing, so this is my first time I'm ever slimming, wearing pinstripes. right? You feel like the obliques are tucked yeah. in, like you feel. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a, a superhero right now. Right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had my pants up either, so this is weird. What? Yeah. Always no, no like stirrups ever. Shirt? Yeah. That's oh, oh so, you so you're pants happy guy? to be behind. The- I feel awkward right now. This is a first for a lot of guys yeah. today. So, are you always a pants down dude, like over the shoes, or are you a little Just tighter? Down, Just down, down in general, yeah. Really? Yeah. Never up. I always pulled mine up because it made me taller, I thought, but it didn't, I don't think. I didn't have to worry about that. That's why I have mine up, so I look taller. (laughs) (laughs) Smart. You've got to be confident in what you're wearing, that's for sure. Obviously, we're bummed that we won't get to see either of you play in this game. Is that? Are you guys equally equally bummed, or is it uh, uh, glass half full? You're able to soak in all the scenes. Yeah, it would have been really special to be able to come out and and pitch here and um, really, you know, enjoy putting on a show for this town. It would be really special, but... Uh, Nick is going to go out there for us today, and it's going to be awesome to watch him pitch and to be able to uh, experience this, you know, for for himself and his family here and friends. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, being able to put a show on and uh, in this town is going to be really special. There's 13 million acres of corn planted in the state of Iowa. 13 wow. million per year. My bad. Just a plethora of education yeah. and information. There's a cheat sheet. Um, <laughs> you got a chance to come out of the corn. What do you think? They say that if you kept walking, this is a true story, that the the, the, the leaves have like razors and that oh, you come out years. bloody. Yeah. I'm and when a, I was, I'm, I'm going to look a lot. That. We haven't done it yet. Yeah. So. Now I know. Thank you. So now you know. Be very careful. Pick the right row. No joke. I went looking for a ball. Kevin hit into the corn yesterday. It was a ground rule double, not a home run. No, I thought it was a home run. <laughs> it, it wasn't. But I, I went down to pick it up, and I got stabbed in the forehead. I, I drew blood for a little bit. But, you know, I'm an athlete, so I recovered, and here we are hosting the show again today. Um, so, fellas, if you ta- you know, looking at this red season, obviously if you just look on paper at the record it's not what anybody envisioned at the start of the year but if you take away that that start that was really tough you guys have been playing much better baseball of late despite some injuries like so take us into the organization that is undergoing a bit of a change a transition and where you think the reds are now and where you'll be in the next few years good um yeah i mean i don't think anybody ever wants to start the season three and 22 but yeah. Um, with however many, like all the injuries that we do, we had, and I think we have the most injured, uh, like we've had the most injuries in baseball. And uh, I think since that first month, it's been right around 500 baseball. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so how'd you keep it together? Because three and 22, yeah. that's was, a weight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And we just continue to have faith in the clubhouse and we, we have a good core of guys. And I know we've made a lot of moves and a lot of guys have been traded. Um, but I think they did a great job in some of the returns. Mm. And it's given guys opportunities, really, to step in and fill, fill the shoes. And we've kind of got our three-headed monster with him and Graham and Nick. Uh, so we've it's going to be fun for the next couple of years and let these guys continue to play in the minor leagues and develop and then hopefully get up here and make a name for themselves. Yeah, Tyler hit it right on the head with, you know, the core of our clubhouse and um, how everybody's extremely easy to talk to and communicate with. Mm-hmm. Um, you mentioned the three-headed dragon, me, Graham, and Nick. Yeah. Um, you know, this is our first time up yeah. here and trying to figure it out and, mm. um, you know, get established and, and get grounded at this level. So um, to be able to have teammates that we can really talk to and um, that are just very open and make it easy to approach them and talk to them whenever throughout the day really, really helps with making this adjustment and feeling as comfortable as possible. I will say this. you got, Yeah, you went through some growing pains. 
it's tough. I was with the Marlins. We lost 100 games. Mm. Fast forward a few years, eight years, six years, five years, we had about 20 dudes play 10 plus years in the big oh. leagues. And, and 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 when you go through that, you get the you know you get the questions, you get the stuff, but you stick together as a team, you stick together as a unit. It makes you tougher. It'll make you appreciate the good times. Mm. And that's baseball, right? We fail in this sport. It's a failure sport. We're going to make a lot of right-hand turns. You're going to give up some runs. You're going to walk the pitcher. Or, well, not anymore, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the moral of the story is is sticking together with that core and believing each other through the tough times because everybody's a good dude the yeah, good times, yeah. right? Like, I, for sure. I think what we're looking forward to the most is like being able to really shift the culture. And not saying that we, we, we have a bad culture. It's been great. But we're in a really unique position for next year starting mm-hmm. with, with this young core of guys. Um, to really build something special and, and build a great franchise. So um, that's what I'm really excited about. And our older guys on the team have um, really been able to, you know, help us uh, begin that transition and, and begin that, that um, road to that. One question I want to ask each one of you. The first thing, because this first time you've been here, right? Oh, yeah. Like the first time that you, moment that you're driving down this field and you're just kind of like, whoa, did it exceed expectations or, or what? It is a it's a it's a movie set. I mean, like the whole yeah. everything of it. And I mean, he's from California. Maybe it, <laughs> you've seen it's a, lot, it's a lot different than LA. Just a yeah. little bit. Just a little I grew bit. up in Atlanta, and it, this is nothing. We didn't see this no. stuff. Um, I mean, I'm excited though. I mean, it's I know uh, last year was an incredible game. Yeah. Hopefully this uh, yeah. this year can be the same. And it's awesome. I mean, like obviously it sucks. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to play in it, but. Uh, to be able to do this and just kind of walk around, uh, it will be it will, it will be special. Did the, did you have a connection? We had Hunter on earlier in the season, and he talked about talked about the movie. Did you have that connection as well, watching with it as what? a kid with Field of Dreams, the movie, or not as much? And if the answer is no, it's okay. what like just connected to the movie and like yeah. I mean, it's a good movie. I, I didn't yeah. have any type of connection or anything with it. For, no. for me, I, I think like the beautiful thing about baseball is you can. That, that moment of like playing catch with your father in the front line and you know unfortunately not everybody has that experience growing up mm. but if you do I think it's 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 really is a blessing to be able to enjoy that time yeah and um, it's I think that's just one of the best things about this game yeah is that one-on-one time that you can have with your father and make it into something special like this and like now we're here experience it's experience real now yes like now yeah. it's real yeah yeah so um, that's one of my favorite things about about this game uh, and and this is this isn't a movie. This is real life, and we want you to go experience it. So it, build those memories with your teammates and your brothers, and we'll help you guys get healthy. Yeah, these guys are stretching. I just saw. Them. I know. <laughs> oh so go get back there. I just Ty- gotta do real. Tyler Stevenson, Hunter Green. Yeah, we're not gonna make you read lines from the film. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank Ty- you. Tyler had like seven monologues, uh, fellas. Thanks again. All right.